Is it recording? I think so. Okay. Oh, yes, it is. There. The, the light's there. Testing. One, two, three. Hello. Hey. I think it's working. Oh, it feels really weird. Why? I, well, we're doing this video talking about how to be us. Oh, it's very meta. I meta. Think, I think the, yeah. the, the phrase is meta. Oh, my God. Oh, what happened here? Is he okay? Oh, gosh. Well, we're here to um, talk about what it's like to be a hand and rod puppet. Okay. Yes, see. So, um, the hand. You can't see the hand. And the rod. <laughs> God, I feel, I'm actually um, left-handed today. Are you? Yeah, it feels really weird. Oh. Don't look down there. Oh, sorry. Secrets. Okay, so um, a lot of people will recognise our style of puppets from... Would you stop grooming? Sorry. <laughs> In between, like, a blooming music video. La. Anyway, sorry, we, we digress. Mysterious girl, I want to get close to you. No, okay, oh. sorry. Okay, so back to the point. Basically, we are going to de explain and describe what it's like to be hand and rod puppet. Yeah. Okay? So a lot of people will um, know these style of puppets from... The Muppets, heroes, heroes, um, praise and, Jesus, and stuff like uh, Avenue Q and things like that. So we're it just going to be me. Yes, um, it does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, we're going to just explain, or uh, Abby's going to explain, yeah, what it's like to be a hand and rod puppet, and I will demonstrate. Perfect. Okay, so there's lots of principles in puppetry, and um, you may have, that was really distracting. Can we get rid of him? Yeah, sure. Can you just check him away? Oh my god, you can see a hand! Who has that big hand? I have no idea. <laughs> she's a weird person, she keeps following me around everywhere. Yeah, she's a pain in the bum. Um, <laughs> anyway, a uh, puppet joke there for you. So, basic principles of puppetry. If you haven't seen the other video already, stop this video now, like now. Stop it right now. And go watch it. Go watch the other video. Because um, it's really, really helpful. Because it talks about the principles of puppetry that you can basically relate to any style of puppetry. Mm -hmm. So this is stuff like breath. So breathing. So it's quite easy because we have mouths to breathe with. Not as dramatically as that. No, we don't need to breathe. No. Um, the other thing is um, gravity. Yeah, so we need to have weight. So obviously we can't be all floating around. Doesn't work. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah, um, it looks really weird if we don't have weight. Oh. So it's re you okay? Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. It looks really weird if you don't have weight. So obviously we need to when we're walking because we don't have legs. So we need to walk like no. we have weight. Look, I don't so want to shock you, but I don't have any legs. <laughs> oh my god! Look away. So we need to make sure that we're actually walking as if we were. Like, had legs. Real, like. And it can be quite comical, because with hand and rod puppetry, because of the cartoon-like-esque of us, mm -hmm. it's really good to um, add a little bit of flair to it. Mm -hmm. So, um... A little bit of flavour. Flavour. Flavour, flavour. Spassy. So, um, another principle <laughs> that we learn is the focus. So, the focus of the puppeteer, obviously, is going to be on us. Because we're so beautiful. You can't see them, but they are looking at us. Hello. You're so beautiful. Uh, come back, come back. Come sorry, back. sorry, sorry. Um, the other thing is the focus of us. Mm -hmm. So obviously if I was looking like this and talking to Charlotte, that wouldn't really work. And if she was talking to me yep. and not looking at me, no, it would look really weird. So we need to make sure we're looking at each other. It's like Abba. Mamma mia. <laughs> So yeah, the, the focus of the puppeteer and the puppet is really important. because Very important. It makes it look more realistic. Yeah. And also, another good thing about that, just as a side note, if you are puppeteering and you're doing monitor puppeteering, so the, lots of the Muppet puppeteers do this, or the mm -hmm. Muppeteers, and they'll basically be puppeteering, but they'll be watching a screen. So um, if you are using a monitor, you basically use the same principle, but you'll just be watching the puppet on a screen rather than... Um, sort of nearer, yeah. like that. Okay, so that's another one. 
Um, what's another one that we haven't done yet? Uh, we've done breath, we've done focus. Um, something about being still. I know that's oh, really yeah. hard for us. So but... stillness isn't really something that we tend to do with this type of puppetry. No. Because we're so comical and um, it's easy to do that fun, comical acting. Yes. But also, it's really important for us to not do too much movement. Yes. So if we were sort of standing there going, Hi, how are you? It looks a bit weird, doesn't it? So even the moving of our mouths needs to be a little bit more still. And also and even just centered. me listening, if I wasn't focusing, if the puppeteer wasn't focusing, if I wasn't focusing, I would end up like this. Yeah, she looks dead, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, see, it doesn't look very realistic. So I wonder if I could do it. Ow! <laughs> what did you do that for? Because you hit me. I have my schnoz. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you get the idea that, you know, even if you're sat there as a puppet, which we are, I hate to break it to you, but you're a puppet. Ah! <laughs> Abby? Ah! Oh! Okay, she's she's just realised she's... Ah, what? Sorry, I wanted to be and dramatic. Scene. <laughs> I forgot about this other arm. Oh, dear. But basically, yeah, if we look like we are listening, we're actually paying attention to the conversation, mm -hmm. even when we're not speaking, like Abby is doing now. Yeah, I am listening. I mean, in my head, I'm thinking about cake, but I'm listening Aren't to we you. all? Um, you actually looks a lot more realistic, right? Right. Yes. Yes. No. Definitely. And um, this is something that we haven't actually discussed in the other videos, which is um, interacting with other puppets. So obviously, if I am interacting with you, yes, um, I don't want to be sort of focused on something else, like we were talking about. Yes. Um, another thing is obviously how we talk. We have mouths that talk probably so we need to make sure that we are lip syncing really well yes now this is can be hard for a lot of people yes because what happens usually is people will do this hello my name is abby and that looks really weird doesn't it it does look really weird it looks odd yes now we're if we maybe if you go through the alphabet and show everybody how you would lip sync okay a b c d e f G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now, did you see what was weird about W? W. We do a little W. So, um, as much as all the other alphabet was very similar in the sense of mouth movement, you can see that we're not actually moving our mouth that much. We're not going A, B, C, because that just looks unnatural. No one speaks like that. Well, I mean, some of you do, but I don't know. No. Who knows? So um, it's really important to make sure that we are talking as if it was natural. It's very much a, if you were pretending your hand was a bird, I guess is the best way to describe it. Oh, look, a hand has appeared to demonstrate perfectly. So this is what it looks like. Hello, Mr. Hand. So it's a very much a this kind of that kind of movement okay so this hand could actually probably lip sync to me if it wanted to hello my name is charlotte uh, so you get the idea okay so that is actually inside this puppet here this wonderful person here okay so she's just gonna get dressed again and then she's gonna be back we get the idea okay so um I don't know where she's gone. Oh, I see her. Sorry, I want to get cake. Excellent. Well, oh, it's a rolling. Great. Yes. Okay, so you get the idea of the speech. So something like the speech with the mouth isn't so much of an issue in... <coughs> Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, just... <coughs> Terrible. <Some> I'm <coughs> stuck in my throat. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't get staff these days. I know. Sorry. <laughs> stuck with me forever. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, in the Bunraku style puppetry that you would have learned about in the other video. Which you um, need to watch. Which you need to watch, watch. if you haven't already. Um, wouldn't really have this this thing of like the, the puppet speaking because they don't tend to have mouths. Yeah, and also it means that the puppet, the, the puppeteer, sorry, that is puppeteering you will have control over how your mouth moves. There's yeah. lots of shows out there, some of you have may seen them, where you will have a puppet like us mm -hmm. puppeteering by, no, puppet 
oh god i can't even speak. being puppeteered being puppeteered yes thank you That's being right. puppeteered by two people so this might be that um it's seen a lot with the muppets and i think that um i can't remember his name um one of the puppets from the muppets gets puppeteered by two people i know like bert and ernie were puppeteered by two people um I can't remember which one. No, I can't remember. But it doesn't matter. But you'll be able to see that. So um, that's something else that you can research. Um, I know that lots of behind the scenes Muppet stuff is on YouTube. Yep. I have watched all of them. Me too. Including the bloopers, Twice. which are great. The what? The bloopers. Oh, I love the bloopers. They're the best. They're really funny. They're my favourite bit. Um, so yeah, I think that um, potentially we can end this video and get the puppeteers to talk to you about other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So um hopefully this has been helpful and not us just being silly because that's what we tend to do. We do tend um, to do that. But you get a general idea about, you know, how rod style puppets work and uh what we can do and, and try it at home, speak. you know. Try it at home. Yeah. There's actually loads and loads of puppet patterns. If you want to contact Beadle's yeah. puppetry on her Facebook page, a little bit of a plug there. Mm -hmm. Um she'll be able to show you where you can get them from and um, there's a lovely lovely um brand is it a brand or brand? website called yep. uh project puppet it is an american oh, yes. website but they do loads and loads of patterns aren't we made from them i think so yeah yeah we're the pan we're a pan yeah um look at this so look at this oh, body <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so um yeah we'll um we'll end it there time. and um Speak to you later. I don't know how to end this. Just just press a button. Press a button. It's just there. Just there. Hi there. Thank you so much for watching that video of Abby and Charlotte. I thought I would end the video with me talking a little bit about some of the principles of the hand and rod puppetry. They kind of went through it a little bit, but I thought I would just make things a little bit clearer. So if you didn't know anything down, um, you can note things down um, in this little bit. So I've got Abby the puppet here. Now we are going to apply exactly the same principles as we did from the first video and um, just making sure that all those principles are being hit. So as they said in the video, we need to make sure that the puppet has gravity. So we need to make sure that they have a little bit of, of weight to them. So what I tend to do is just tense my hand up a little bit. And then what I tend to do is just get myself comfortable with the hand and rods. So I tend to just do like a chopstick kind of thing where I hold one of them hold one of them in my hand, like so, and then I grab the other one with my two fingers, and that just means that I can sort of do a lot of sort of lever kind of thing, so it means that I can move her hands a little bit. So I'll go through that little bit from the side so you can see. So what I do is I just grab the one rod, and then I grab the other one, and sort of put a finger in the middle, Depends on what you find comfortable, but find a way that works for you. But it's essentially, if you're good at chopsticks, you'd probably be very good at hand and rod puppetry. But I tend to just focus on one hand being moved. So this is usually the the puppet's arm that's away from the camera. So I, I wouldn't really do that one because it's kind of in the way. And it looks better upstage as well, if you're on stage or on camera, as you can see there. Um, now the puppet's eye line is very important so as you can see she is looking straight at you. Sometimes it feels like the puppet's looking really low down um, but it just means that if you are puppeteering with the puppet next to you you can just sort of look at it and see it. If you're doing um, hand and rod puppetry via monitor obviously you'll be able to see a little bit more of where your puppet's eye line is. And obviously the focus of the puppeteer, making sure that I am looking at the puppet. Now breath is quite easy with this one because what we tend to do is just literally do that. I just realised we're wearing the same outfit. <laughs> uh, we are literally twinning right now, aren't we, Abby? Um, so what we are going to be doing is uh, just literally raising our hands up and down. And if you watched our first video, you'll be able to see the stillness thing that I said about where um, we don't want to do too much unless it's very comical. Obviously, if the puppet's character is comical, we might move a little bit. But actually, if we are just still, just that little movement, she might sort of do a little bit here. Okay. And obviously, um, emotional movement is a little bit easier with these guys. They might see something and, and go to get it. 
well, she didn't spot anything, but it's basically about looking at something and not just kind of going, I'm going over here now, you know, doing that kind of Muppet run, which is quite classic. Um, so making sure that um, the puppet has emotional um, intelligence as well, making sure that she has um, a mind of her own. Um, with the hand and rod puppetry, it is quite difficult to do quite a few things at once, so it is really helpful to practice in the mirror, I find. So if you just grab yourself a normal mirror, like this one, um, you will be able to just literally puppeteer and watch yourself in the mirror while you're doing it. I find that really, really helpful. Um, it just means that you'll be able to see a little bit more about what you're doing um, with the puppet. So if you grab yourself one of those puppets and maybe rewatch a couple of the videos behind and sort of practice along with us, um, hopefully you'll be able to get some of the principles of hand and rod puppetry. But um, if you search into YouTube, hand and rod puppetry, uh, as well as the puppet said about pattern making, there's lots of patterns available online, either for free or to buy. Uh, if you need help finding that, do contact the shoe box or me on Facebook and we can sort of help you out with that if you wanted to make your own. And uh, hopefully in the future we might be able to do um, a making workshop, but we will see. Um, but take care everybody, thank you so much for watching and do check out the other videos on this channel, there is lots of lovely things on there um, including mask and stage combat work. So take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon, bye!